Well, hello and welcome to this weekend edition of the Daily Dose of Greek. And we are in Revelation 2.1 and I'm still drawing from the very fine work of David Mathewson in his Baylor Handbook on the Greek text of Revelation. We're we'll focusing in today on this expression, tade lege. Tade lege. Very literally, here's our verb, says, right? And the subject of that is all the rest of the sentence. The one who holds the seven stars in his right hand, the one who walks in the midst of the seven golden lampstands. That is the subject. Your verb is lege. And then your direct object is this tade, right? Tade. And tade is a demonstrative pronoun. It, it only occurs 10 times in the Greek New Testament. The lexical form is with the masculine singular hade. But um, the actual expression tade lege, interestingly, occurs seven times. Lots of things occur seven times in Revelation. It occurs seven times in Revelation. You know, someone says these things, tade. Uh, and so what's significant about that, Matthewson notes, is this is somewhat, archa uh, somewhat archaic sounding by this time. And sort of like someone getting up and, and reading the King James, thus saith the, the Lord. And it, it echoes back to the Septuagint, to the um, Greek translation of the Old Testament, where this expression, tade lege, occurs mm, uh, around 250 times to introduce prophetic oracles uh, given by God. Thus says the Lord, tade lege. And so when we see here Jesus speaking with this, uh, his speech being introduced with this expression, I think it's, it's intended to hearken back to, to the, um, we're intended to, to realize that this is divine speech. This is speech this, that comes with the authority of deity, and the authority of royalty. Bdag, remember the best Greek lexicon, also notes, interestingly, if you look up this expression, or you look up hade, look it up in the lexical form, it says that tade lege, the introductory formula we have here, is used by Persian kings to, in to introduce their decrees. So we have a kingly, in other words, this introductory formula says here, here is speaking someone who is kingly and drawing from the Old Testament. Here is speaking someone who's speaking whose words have the authority of deity.